Whoa. Hey, how are we doing? It's JJ. Well, it's one week later on from finding my old woodland permission completely and utterly destroyed. So we have come up to our new permission. Me and the guys, the guys are just off getting some wood and there's a couple of old sleepers that we're going to use to make a bit of a bench. So yeah, we're at the woodland permission. It's about half past seven in the evening. We've had a good catch up and um, I have got... I brought this uh, fire pit and grill with a tripod and that to use because we're going to start using this um, permission quite a lot we don't want to be completely burning the ground so much so we're just trying this out for the first time today and um, I've got some coals burning on it at the moment because we're going to cook in that way so controlled heat with coals and then we'll put the wood on afterwards and remove the tripod I'm using the Dutch army So I was going to come with a tarp and that, and then last minute I sort of decided, no, Dutch Army, because I got the permission, I can park the truck up at the edge. Got my normal sort of sleep mat system and that in there, and that with my Van Gogh sleeping bag. I've got a sheepskin rug as a pillow, and an old woolen blanket, which is really nice. And then... Phil's using his Raccoon 2.1, the OEX, which is really nice, really nice. And Glenn, he loves this tent, which is the uh, the Miltech Recon 1 in a German Flecktarn, which is absolutely cracking. We're at permission. Do you know what? We've got chairs. We want to be comfortable. We're all getting on. Nothing wrong in that. We get some food going. Happy days. I'm happy again because I'm in a wood that's not going to present any problems. Going to enjoy some time with the guys. Happy days. Going to cook some chicken fajitas. So that'd be cool. I'm going to prep my veg. Catch you in a bit. Shaky, shaky. Should use a tripod. There we go, chicken fajitas on the go. Just raised it up a bit so it's not absolutely scorching. <laughs> absolutely lovely. Right, we've just had our dinner and we've been joined by Tony the farmer. So uh, we're just having a, a beer with him. Just chilling out, that fire pit grill works really, really well. Thoroughly impressed with that, but we're going to remove that now and get a few more logs on as it's starting to cool down. We're going to settle in for the evening. Happy days. Yes, about 20 to 12. Didn't really do much filming after the food. Just had a nice, proper, chilled out night with the guys by the campfire. Just listened to a bit of music. A little bit of chit chat. Nothing major. And sometimes that's all you need. It's not always all about the filming. True story. See you in the morning. Morning, morning, morning. Say, so not much filming last night. We just enjoyed a bit of classic Glenn dad dancing. There he is, the legend. Phil's gonna. Do you want me to do the bre breakfast, mate? Are you alright with that? Or Yeah, crack on. Yeah, yeah. 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 I knew he'd say that. Yeah. Right, so, <laughs> yeah, we just had a really properly chilled out night. Properly chilled out night. Three or four cans, that's that's all that was needed. 
and just sat there and just chilled. Not even a great deal of chat, to be fair, was it? No, not really. It was just, not just, season, just chilled. It's just because they're really boring. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? They're really boring. No, I'm joking. No, it's, you know when you sometimes just get to camp and you're all sort of busy after work and it's just... You don't have to constantly chat. You know, I thought I'd save it all for this morning in this segment of the video and see how many words I can get in in this bit. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, just properly chilled out, properly chilled out. We've just got a little fire pit going again. And we're going to have some bacon and egg rolls. Or is it egg and bacon? Depends. And that depends. depends wherever you come from. Cornwall or Devon. Yeah, maybe. Cornwall or Devon. It's like the equivalent of the, the, the scone or scone with cream and jam it's got to be jam and cream is it yeah. bacon and egg or egg and bacon anyway that's enough from me we'll catch you again soon see you in a minute bye let's get some bacon and eggs going on guys obviously because because phil lives in like a posh village and that we've, we've got waitrose eggs and the bacon is Hand reared. Yeah, hand reared, den hay, excellence in bacon, smoked back bacon. It's what happens when you live in a posh village, I suppose. Kind of get used to that kind of life. That's why we're trying to bring him back out. You know, take him back to being a steam lidge kid that he was all them years ago. <laughs> it's all lies. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Sizzle, sizzle. Nah, nah. Oops, that might spit a bit. How much bacon are we using? All of the bacon. Go for a couple of minutes. That's the beauty of the, the Dutch is that you can open both sides so you can get sunrise in the morning and then sunset in the evening, depending on which way you open it up. But it is nice just to actually open it up and air it all out. It's worked a treat. Had our breakfast. We're now just uh, starting to pack down and clear up. Sort all the ground out with a fire pit, kept that off the ground, but we're still soaking the ground underneath. Top camp once again. Enjoy that, mate? Oh, fantastic. We're awesome, the there he is. Yeah, I yeah. do too. The <laughs> dirty dancer, the dirty dancer. <laughs> <laughs> legend legend yeah don't need to show you uh the end of uh you know clearing up because we always leave no trace good boys they practice they've been practicing all morning leave no trace goes without saying it's us in it right until the next one see you later guys okay, bye, yeah. bye 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 bye